streams into the boat and it is absolutely beautiful. Another fine day on one of our favourite canals and we will be off very very soon. Well, we're setting off from uh, our moorings at Grinley Brook. Uh, no locks for around 20 miles. You can't say morning now, it's getting towards dinner time now. <laughs> we've been up at the crack of dawn. Oh, we've been up at the crack of dawn, yes, but when you start talking. But you've done all your duties. Yes, yes, that's true. Coffee. Coffee will go down well, thank you very much. Well, today on our little travels, uh, another one of our things, our microphones, what we bought, we'll be doing a test on it because it's quite windy, and that was that was a real big thing for us last year. Because uh, those who watch now, I know we've got all the equipment now to do voiceovers, but I just feel like we've our intention every time we are bought it is to give people a narrow boat feeling, not a not a false not a false look about it. We just want it to be a natural a natural look. So we've got these cameras and we've got these microphones and the intention is we won't be troubled with all that loud wind noise like we were last year. Now very soon uh, we'll be coming to our first um, lift bridge and to the left there's a there's a arm there which you can go down and more uh, but currently you'd have to walk up into Whitchurch from there but they're trying to make the canal go towards the town centre well it's not happened yet but it's a nice mooring off the main line and you can get up the uh, We'll have a walk into Wick Church with its uh, many pubs, many shops, quite a nice place. But, uh, anyway, for us, we are carrying straight on, and uh, after the swing bridge, there's a turning circle and some boats called it's called Viking Afloat, and these boats are yellow uh, and they seem well looked after. And these have been taken over by ABC Leisure, if I'm not mistaken. Should be there soon. There we are, the uh, first of five. In a much changed environment since we last came up. But, uh, yep, nothing we can do about it. It's just progress and, and properties needed. Everybody we've seen been to 
it, we've talked to a few people, the lock keepers and that, and they're all commenting. But the Langholm Canal, this is so quiet. And that is what we expected, particularly with, um, sadly, that breach. Now, the one thing what is a bugbear to uh, lots of uh, private waters is the amount of space that uh, higher fleets, when they're in use, take over of the canals. And if we are going through this gap now, which is very much for one boat, if we met somebody, then you've got all that access around and sort it out. Just coming through the third one today now. These are very popular moorings along here. The private and some uh, some liverboard as well. Everything fine? Yes, fine. Very good. Building right. up for a pudding this evening. <laughs> <laughs> a pudding this evening, eh? Oh well. Right, that's another done, and I'll have to uh, just pull up here now uh, to get Bernadette back on board. You might have noticed that we've gone back to a, a lower down uh, filming now, and that's because the wind's getting up and uh, the taller. Um, tripod you've got uh, might have started to rock a bit because in some areas without out any of the trees and all that it was getting extremely windy so it's a lower view now the one thing you can never ever complain about on the Clangoslin Canal is the scenery every turn something is just magical it's a, it's a lovely canal absolutely I keep saying it I know but uh, this really does <laughs> complement our narrowboat feeling with a great canal feeling and it's uh, I don't know, we're so lucky in, in our life that when we was very young we found something what we both loved and we continue to. It's very, very special.
this is our fourth bridge now just be, just as we go through here on the left there's a little turning point and that's one we used to use sometimes in the uh, when it was the shorter months you know the shorter traveling times and uh, we used to turn around there this has certainly been a point for ours the green bridge <laughs> We always, uh, we always know about this one. So if there's some nice moorings, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll uh, moor off. Yes, I'll, I'll offer them wait, we'll be a sec and then we'll see how it pans out well we've got uh, one of our uh, regular moorings what we did over the years with the famous tree in front where your dad stood when it was pouring down my rain that big tree there I'm not getting bloody wet <laughs> <laughs> we've moored up here just past the green bridge and this is one of our traditional mooring spots also we used to stop here with my mum and dad when they had their boat and we used to love having cheese and wine but yet there was one year where it was absolutely pouring it down with rain and that tree there which had its leaves on because it was in summer was the shelter for my dad holding his little 30 foot boat in to keep dry before he actually moored up gorgeous mooring spot